Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be building this. So basically you just move, move mouse over over the different sections here and the background picture changes as you'll see. This is a pretty cool effect. Um, you can use it for the links to whatever section you have. In this case, you know, different types of cars maybe or you know you can use different types of things uh, let's get started as always going back to codity.io what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a ul and for each section in this in this uh, demo we, we have like four sections so i'm just going to put four four li's here so the easiest way is to li multiply by four press tab and i'm just going to put one two three four right making sure that on the body side I set the margin to zero and then on the UL side I just set the list style to none so we're not gonna have any bullets there and now for the LIs what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just say position absolute then uh, let's just give it a give the UL a background see where it is maybe EEE -E -E. So we will see nothing obviously, just set a width to 100 pixel and height to 100 pixel. Let's see if we see anything here. On the UL obviously we need to make sure that this has like a width of 25% because that's the 25% of the window and then height of 100% and maybe give it a background red, see how it looks like, okay. Now what I'm going to do, the UL actually has some padding, so I will say margin to zero and then padding also to zero, right? So now it looks all right. Uh, what I'm going to do next, just going to remove these guys, the UL will just take shape when the LIs within it has some elements and width and height. So now I'm just going to say text align, maybe center and then maybe line height to be 200 pixel. It kind of puts the font over here, maybe even font size, 50 pixels, right? So you're gonna get this, but obviously this is not correct because every one of these LIs are now on top of each other due to position absolute. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say UL LI and then first child, just gonna set the, uh, sorry again U L L I nth child so the second child I want it to be uh, left 25% so now we have the two just gonna copy and paste it for all the other ones I'm just gonna say three and four uh, just setting this to 50% and this one to 75% right so now we have uh, our four sort of elements over here next step to do is obviously pretty easy what we need to do i'm just going to change the color here i'm just going to remove this um color red and then i'm just going to say u l l i on hover so when i mouse over them i want them to get the background color of black and opacity of 0.5 and then also let's just put this 0, 0, 0 and then also I want the color to be white right so I want my numbers to be white and instead of these numbers you can put really anything you want right it could be like the title of an item or a product anything that you distinguish as that element that you're hovering on right so we can see we have this kind of movement I want to add a little bit of a transition here so transition maybe all and one second let's see how it looks like okay it's not as fast as i want so let's say 0 0.4 and now it kind of looks pretty cool right and because we set everything to 25 percent it always scales to the size of the uh, window that we have or the width of the window the next thing is the background so after we have set up our li's i'm just going to put an image here and going back to originally to my img so we basically put a div img here instead of sorry not an image just a div with a class img 
and then I'm just gonna style that one right so I'm just gonna say IMG and then I'm going back to the original prototype because I have the images uh, here so, so I'm just gonna say background and then I say URL and then paste the URL making sure that this is also position absolute its width is 100% of you know the window and height is also 100% as you can see and then I need to also set the background size to be cover right so this kind of scales it to the size of the image this size of the image we have right but now you can see that it actually overlaps with everything we have in terms of the li's so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go to my li here and i say z z index to be one and then um, that pretty much makes it the way it is now it's very important as you can see i actually put the div after all these elements in my ul the reason why is that i can now in css easily when i hover on this change the background image here right and the way i want to do it is actually fairly simple um i'm going to do this so i'm just going to say ulli let's just choose the second child right and then when i do hover this is very interesting when i do hover i'm going to use this sort of indicator right and then i would say img right i'm going to tell you what it really means and then i'm just going to go ahead and choose the on the original i'm just going to go ahead and choose this url right so going back again here I'm just going to set this background URL and then I pass that URL right now what really happens I suppose if I am making sure that the background size is also cover just going to set cover so now what, what should happen is that when I mouse over on the second LI it should actually change the image background to the new image let's see if it works yes it works isn't that cool so this ampersand really means that if the element that I want to change some styles in comes after, you know, the element that I'm actually applying my action. In this case, I hover on the second element, but I want to change the background image of this one, right? So there are actually two sort of um, operator in CSS that works in this way so it, they basically select the siblings the next or the following siblings of the same parent so in this case our parent is UL and these are all the basically children and for here the IMG is actually the siblings or the following siblings of these LIs so basically we have two ways to select it one is plus that I used it a lot before but this really selects the image right after the LIs so that if the image here was exactly after li the second li that i'm choosing then it would work but now because it's two three elements afterwards i need to select this one right which is an ampersand and now it's gonna go ahead and work now the next thing i want to do is obviously go ahead and copy and paste these let's say three and four just going back to the original and I'm just going to choose the images that I have here so this is the third one just going to copy and paste it here and then I have the fourth one which is also here it's going to make sure that these images have been taken from Google and uh, if you if you want to really use them in your commercial product you have to actually talk to the owner of these images but in this case we're good so as you can see we have this very nice effect again um, you know going back to, to the beginning four li's and then an img and then obviously within that you know we we can just simplify the lines of codes here by using sas basically looping over all the elements and that's pretty much the 
correct way of doing that in a normal, you know, business kind of, you know, if you work somewhere, you definitely want to use that instead of this. But I wanted to kind of go through everything and show you how you can create these pretty cool effects that you can use in your projects, right? So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like and share the tutorial. And I wish you the best day and night. Goodbye.